Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wogan. I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. Today, I felt like taking the look at what's to come up for the remaining months. There's not a lot of time left in the Fate Grand Order by the end of the year, so I kind of wanted to look at what events we have coming up, what to plan. I'm sure many people are currently deciding whether or not to go full force for Scotty, but there's still some stuff coming up this year that I think is worth looking into before we start planning for the new year. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me what you're planning, your rest of the year, year plans. I feel like a decent amount of people are just going to kind of chill, you know, do some multis here and there, but for the most part, many people are saving. But if you have other plans, I would love to hear it because there are for sure a lot of cool units coming up. So currently we have Scotty. Everyone's either going for her or not. I wish you all the best of luck the people who are going for her. I really like her. So, let's, the, the first big elephant in the room here is that if you're not familiar, <laughs> every single year, but this year for some reason, um, and before you try and tell me in the comments the reason is, is because of Kaniku Man, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's not. Because it's literally impossible for a parody manga to shut down a parody. It is the most illogical thing. The only people who make that argument are people who don't know Kanika Man. But this is the year where there's no two Christmas reruns. I've actually been meaning to do a video on this for years. And I think this is the year I finally do it because it's getting really annoying. Everyone blaming Kanika Man for something that is clearly not his fault. But yeah, usually every year there's a rerun. This year, there's no rerun of Samba Quetz, so if you missed her, you missed her. I don't think NA will run her. They could. It's better for them to run her than to have what it amounts to a dead month. This entire month is dead. It's unbelievably dead. What do we have for November? Let's see, we have fucking nothing until... <laughs> <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> Hunting quest lasts you a week, but it's it's looking like a dead month unless they decide to release Samba Quets, which they probably won't do. But on Christmas itself, here's the unit that comes with it on the summon campaign. I know what it is. It's Saber Astolfo, but Saber Astolfo, he's an AOE for quick. I believe he does 9 hits, so he's very effective for farming, I believe. Well, let me actually take a look at his. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He is. Don't worry about that. He is. So he's good for farming for quick. There's not a lot of Saber quick units out there. I want to say there's at least one. I think it's like <laughs> Caesar and... Not many others. Let me actually look. I can actually... Uh, let me see. Saber. Okay, so... Buster, Buster, Buster. Arts, Buster. Quick. Buster. Buster. Arts, I'm pretty sure. Quick. Both of these are single target. Okita. Quick. Single target. Buster. Arts. Um, arts. Buster. Arts, Buster, 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 Quick? Quick or Buster? It's Buster. Buster, Quick, single target again. Arts, Arts. Um, this one's Quick. I believe she's Quick. No, really. Arts. Arts. This, Dear Mood has to be Quick. Yeah, quick, but also, as you can see here, single target. Single target. I'm pretty sure this is, um, arts. Arts. I actually don't know what Lakshiba is. AoE, quick. So there we go. The two. <laughs> there's exactly two. Because there's, I'm pretty sure he's not, and she's definitely not. He's, oh, he has to eat arts. And she is also arts. So yeah. Quick. There's the two options as of now when he's released. So. Definitely worth owning, I would say. And if you're a fan of Astolfo, 
you already know. It's five star soul folk you're gonna summon. Next, this one's actually pretty weird. I can't remember if they did a summoning campaign for interlude. They did. This one has Anastasia and Napoleon. Pretty easy to... Oh, and Raid Observance is these two. Well-loved servants, for sure. Like, who doesn't love Napoleon in the game? Anastasia in the game. What's his nuts, Langling? Langling Wing? And Quinn Lang Yu? Forgive me if I'm saying those wrong. Um, totally, people love them, but for the most part, they're not limited. So you don't really have to summon on this one. Even if you, <laughs> unless you badly want them, of course, in which case, go with God. The Atlantis pre release campaign. See, no, this one didn't have a banner. Here's where the banner shows up, because this is the banner. This is the big boy. This is the big chonk man. That is the final big unit. I think for this year, I said that there were five units that were really big and easily worth owning because of how much they break the game. He's definitely one of them. Super Orion is. Look at this. First of all, he has a single target, not a self target. It's a buff to himself. Arts. Three Buster. And even though his kit looks really weird for a Buster Gorilla, because you're like a Buster Gorilla with an Arts Noble Phantasm, what? That seems dumb. He is 100%. <laughs> Stupid broken. I've only ever used. He has a demerit where he gives himself toxic and he increases poison damage to self by 20%. Like, even with this demerit, it does not change his. does not stop him from being an unbeatable force. He does so much damage, it's not even funny. So, yeah, this first skill gives him Buster 50% level 10, attack up 20% to 20 crit stars on level 2. Oh, for skill, second skill, my bad. And then this final move, increase own critical star absorption, grant on self, grant self on attack, activated buff for three attacks, three turns. Increase on crit damage for one turn when attacking with a buster card, activates first. So, he has potential to get 300% crit damage in one turn. Oh, it's so dumb. And then his absorption is 500%, so he's getting them crit stars and he's gonna be critting like crazy. This is his Noble Phantasm. Ignores invincibility, increases attack by 30%, grants self debuff immunity for three turns, gain 10 crit stars every turn, and he also gives 100% crit damage up for three turns. <laughs> he's so dumb. And I'm. I think this is my next Super Ryan. I also really love him. I love his design. I think some people were kind of not cool with his design because they were morons. I call it right there as I see some. Um, but yeah, I am 100% going for him. I love, I love Orion, even though he's a really weird bear. I love that the reveal to how Orion actually looks like is this giant chunk of a man so I absolutely love him and I think this is going to be the last banner that I summon on this year before New Year starts off and of course here's the yeah and this is the last big banner because the next thing is like the Achilles rerun banner and then we got New Year's and then New Year's we got this and this is an entire I have to think about there's a lot to think about this year. It all boils down to one specific day. This one. With. Her. But for now, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. There's not much left to the year, but if you're curious about what's coming up, I think the big one is Super Orion. For fans who love big buff men, and for those who love small petite men, there's a Stalfo, so unfortunately there's not a lot for November. <laughs> well, except for at the end when a Stalfo shows up, but I really hope NA brings those back. Ugh, I'm not going to talk about it. I'll talk about it in another video. But until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day. Hopefully it didn't sound too... Um, 
quiet. I'm trying to not wake up any of the neighbors of anything. So, till next time, you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.